Hi. We start off this course by discussing legislation. So the laws that pertain to the safe operation and use of lift trucks here in Canada. Now we will look at legislation as common features of a typical variable reach lift truck are forks, backrest, carriage, tilt cylinder, boom, boom angle indicator, two-wheel steering, which steers your front wheels similar to a car, four-wheel steering, also referred to as roundy round. This steering off capacities and stability. So this is really important information you need to know to help keep yourself and the machine right side up and not tipped over. Fulcrum point. The balance point we tip on when overloaded is called our fulcrum point. If the force of the load on our forks is great, the further your boom is extended, the more chance there is that you will tip. When a forklift is overweighted, the stability shape of a lift truck begins with a stability triangle. The three points of this triangle are made up of one point in the center of each of the front tires and one point at the pivot pin in the center of the rear axle. The pivot pin of the rear axle is what creates the triangular stability shape and not a rectangular stability shape like that found on a typical car or truck. From these three points of the stability triangle, we build up a stability pyramid with a peak that sits just above the full reach of the mast. As you walk up to the machine, check for any leaks on the ground. Make sure tires have no serious damage or cuts on the tread, also checking inner and outer sidewalls. Inspect rims, confirming all lug nuts are in place and snug. Always use three points of contact when mounting and exiting the machine, making sure that the mounting steps are free from grease, oil, mud, snow, or anything slippery. If not, clean them immediately. Okay, if they're messy or dirty and you could slip and hurt yourself, clean them immediately. It'll keep your teeth in your mouth and you a whole lot safer. Use your stabilizers and outriggers to steady the lift. Take extreme caution when unloading while the machine is on a grade. As the weight of the load is released, the center of gravity will shift to the rear of the machine, increasing the chance of tipping over. There are a few important things you want to make sure you follow when loading. When parking, make sure the machine is on solid level ground, in a designated zone, or away from doors, exits, gates, and traffic. Lower forks to the ground, making sure the fork tips are tilted slightly down so they do not create a tripping hazard. Idle the engine for gradual cooling.